Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Factorio Let's Play. This is Season 1, Episode 2. And um, when we last left off, we were dealing with power. Uh, now, again, I'm not really 100% on how this power works, but I do know how to keep it working. Um, all I know is that you want to get the temperature up to 100, and the temperature is slowly rising. Uh, if you click on this power pole here, you're going to have consumption and production. If production out outstrips your consumption... It's kind of weird. I thought they should be backwards. I thought you should be producing a certain amount and consuming a certain amount, but whatever. If you're produ Basically, what will happen is your production will eventually outstrip your consumption, and your consumption will start going down and turn yellow. Then you know you're in trouble. Uh, if, if that happens, you come over here and you check your steam engines. If your steam engines are low on temperature, you need more boilers going. If your steam engines are fine on temperature, I think you need more steam engines. Um, we'll deal with it as we go along, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of fuzzy on this one. Okay. So there we go, we got that. So let's um let's go ahead and make some more poles. We're gonna need a lot of these poles. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of decide this is gonna come up here. This is gonna come up here. So we need poles probably around here. So let's uh let's start dragging some of these poles over there. Okay, so there we go. Let's go. But no, no, that, I don't like that. I want these poles to be as efficient as I can make them. There we go. See, I kind of messed up there a little bit. If you kind of that whole holding down left mouse click thing will work, but you have to you have to like be in the right area. No, that doesn't work. Okay, so what we'll do is we will put down this one and then hold it down. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so we got to we got to make this iron vein a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to start now making electric mining drills. I'm going to make both of those. And while those are being made, I'm going to go ahead and pull all the stuff out of here I can. And we'll grab the copper. It looks like we need some more coal over here. That is fine. Uh, yeah, let's put some more coal in there. There we go. And... Yep, it's getting... It's getting... There we go. Okay. All right, so let's get this uh, let's get this electric thing going. This is uh, this is gonna be our main mine out uh, output for iron. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a big iron vein. I think we've got a few different iron veins. I think between these two iron veins, I'll probably be okay. And if worse comes to worse, I can always hook up these two at the bottom as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our electric miner thingy. Um, actually, you know what? We could probably just pick this up. There we go. Let's pick all that stuff up. Okay. Right here, you've got uh, the little green area is the uh, area that the mining drill will affect. Uh, you can see right there on the right-hand side, it says expected resources 14K. If you move a little bit out of the way, I'm going to go to 11K, 7K, 4K, because it's covering less iron. It's basically the amount of iron that's in the area. Uh, but the thing is, you want these kind of overlapping each other. So I think what we should do is, I'm trying to think of how I could do this best. One right there. No, one right. Can I put that there? I can. Okay. Now, should I put two down for iron? No, I should probably wait. I could put another one there. And then what I can do is I can put more on the other side as well. Right there and there. So that'll be enough for four. I'm just kind of planning things out. Okay. So that's the electric mining drill. It's not hooked up yet, but that's okay. We don't want it hooked up yet. We're going to have this come up here. And... Go this way, and we need more belts. So you're gonna need a lot of belts. Like just make it, make them all. Although it uses up. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. It used up all my iron. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Uh, can I cancel it? Yes, I can. Cool. All right, I just canceled a bunch. Sweet. Okay, so let's cancel some more. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have these coming over here. And then we're going to have it... Actually, I could probably just have it go up. Yeah, yeah, I could have it go up. Yeah, that'll work. You'll see how this works. When you see how this works, you'll you'll love it. Okay, so this can come right up here. Okay, so this is going to be our iron... Uh, this is going to be our iron uh, producing thingy. I'm not sure. Iron part of the factory, I guess. I'm not really sure what to call it. But we're going to need some coal for it. So we're going to put some coal up here. I'm thinking coal should probably go this way. Yeah, we could do it that way. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so now we're going to have coal coming out of there. So this needs to come down. 
because I need the coal to meet up with the iron because uh, the coal needs to go on the iron belt as well. So the iron will be on the... It also, stuff goes on different sides of the belt. Like right now, since the iron... Uh, the electric mining drill is on the left side. All the iron will be on the left side. And we want the iron and coal to be on the same belt, but on different sides. So, what we can do to make that happen is point this this way. Uh, yeah, this has got to come out a while. This might be a little messy. I'll, I'll make things I'll make things a little neater, hopefully, later. Alright, so this can come over here. And we're going to need more transport belts, of course. And this should be coming up here, so we could probably... We need at least two inserters to get this started. And we're going to need a stone furnace right about there is probably okay. Uh, actually, let's push it back. Let's put it as far back as possible. Right there. I think that's pretty much as far back as possible as I can put it. We're going to put an inserter, uh, taking stuff off the belt and putting it into the into the uh, furnace and then taking stuff out of the furnace. There you go. So now we take this belt down and we bring it over here and we do not have it. Oh my God, I can't believe we're one short, whatever. There we go. Now what it'll do is it will take the coal and put it on the right side. So the, the iron should be on the left side, coal should be on the right. And all we need to do now is power these suckers up. So what we'll do is we will uh, run this up here. That should be okay there. So let's just run these right up here. I will probably be rebuilding this stuff at some point, but it's okay the way it is now. Alright, so now we got the coal coming, and now we have the iron coming. And here comes the coal, and here comes the iron. So these things need to be powered as well. And there we go. And that's it. Now, what it's doing is it's taking the iron and putting it in there, but the coal hasn't gotten here yet. Once the coal, Once the coal gets here, it'll grab the coal as well. And it'll start burning. And there you go. Now this is going to take it out and put it on a belt behind it. We don't have any more belts. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a crate right there. Okay. Alright, so there you go. And that's, uh, that's the beginning of our smelting operation. Alright, so that's... Uh, iron's going good. So let's grab this and grab this. Let's just pick these up now. We don't really need them. All right, now we're now we're going good. So let's uh, take a look at the power here. Um, okay, so the power is just phenomenal. Um, the consumption is all the way up, which is what it's supposed to be, and the production, the lower the production, the better. So let's go look at our... I'm kind of curious if our steam boilers are hot now. I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. They should be. Yes, they are. Temperature's 100%. Okay, so we're good. One steam... One boiler is good enough for one steam engine right now, and I am fine with that. So what we're going to do is we are going to now... Hold down shift and left click and put the coal in here. So now this is fully fully sustainable uh, as long as this coal is full. And it will be full for quite a while, so we're good there. Power is, power is good. All right, now we need to set up the same thing with copper, but we're going to need a lot of belts for that. So let's, uh, let's, let's make some more belts. Now, the amount of iron coming in, I think... One electric mining drill is good enough for two stone furnaces, if I remember correctly. Although I could be wrong. So let's go ahead and make another stone furnace, and uh, we're going to up the production here. And we can also, uh, instead of putting things back there, we can start putting them on belts. Yeah, that'll work. And then what we'll do is we will put a... Yeah, we're going to need another inserter. We're going to pick up that inserter so it doesn't really matter. Let's just do this. Pick that up, and we used all the... No, we didn't use all the belts. Here we go. There we go. Now all the iron's on the belt. So now we're going to take this. We're going to take another uh, furnace, put it right there. We're going to need two more inserters. We'll just make all three, because we're going to need them anyway. We'll put the chest back here. Actually, we do need three inserters. What am I thinking about? So now we will be doing this. Those might be in the wrong spot, but it's okay. So now we got some real production going. Now the production's starting to flow. And there we go. And we just need to power that. And there we go. Now we're going to get Now we're gonna get some major iron. Major iron. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the iron. We're going to make more belts. Uh, we need more iron, so we're just going to wait for more iron. 
to make more belts. Now we need to start on the copper. Copper does not have to be as big of a supply as uh, as iron, at least not in early game. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to make ourselves some more electronic mining drills. What are we missing? Oh, iron, of course. You have to be careful when you put stuff on the on the belts. You never put more than if there's a left and the right side of the belt. As far as I know, you never put you never put multiple things on one side. You know what I mean? Like if iron's on the left side, you don't mix it up with something else. Um, but you can put iron on one side and coal on the other. Uh, not always though. You might not want to a lot of times, but sometimes you might want to. It's a it's it's a complicated game, guys. We, I mean, for those of you new to this game, you ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and make our mining drill. And there it is. Any second now. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. So this can go right here. It's a good spot for it. And this is gonna come out. This is gonna meet right here. That can go up. That is fine. Probably not gonna need any more copper. Hopefully. Okay, so yeah, that can go that way, right in the middle. Now we got to feed coal on that, just like we did on this one. We're going to have to start looking at the splitters. And now, we're going to have to start getting into science. Okay, so I don't have splitters right off the bat. I have to research logistics um, in order to get them. Uh, so what we have to do is, we're going to make ourselves a science lab. Uh, yeah, I need more iron. Alright, make ourselves a science lab. And then we're going to have to make science packets. Now, science packets are basically just these little beaker things. We're going to need red. There's two There's two sciences to start off. We're only going to need red at the moment. Let's not make things more complicated than they already are. We will just get the red. Yeah, this is a nice, a nice setup. Really nice setup. So what I think is we will put a splitter. That's going to go on the top side. That's good. So we want... We want coal on the bottom side, so we'll put a splitter like... Oh, this is going to be tough. Basically, what we need to do is we need to get the coal onto this belt from the bottom. Uh, so we're going to have to do some underground some underground setups here. It's, it's The coal on this side is kind of messed up. We can put a splitter right here, bring it down here. Eh... All right, I got... Hold on, we're going to move this up. We're going to move this up. Just makes it easier if I move this uh, up. Because we need the coal to come in from the bottom. It's a good spot for it. All right, so this will just go this way. It's going to come up from the bottom. Like this. And then go this way. So coal sh or copper should be put on from the top. We should probably test it to make sure. Let's do that. All right, copper. Are you going to go on the top? Copper is going on the top. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, so that's great. So now the coal can come in from like down here or up here. It doesn't really matter, honestly. So, uh, copper's gonna come down from here, so... Coal's gotta come, like... Oh boy, this is gonna be tough, because iron's gonna... When iron is finished, you know, we should probably set up some of this infrastructure right now. Okay, so that... Basically what I'm doing is, the copper and iron, and this is gonna work for coal, too, will be coming up from the middle. I will have, uh, furnaces on both sides, Outputting to a belt on both sides. I hope this is making sense to you guys. I know it's, it's a bit much. Um, so that's going to come up like this. So that you get the idea. The um, the unrefined uh, the unrefined iron comes up from the middle and gets dumped out on the sides. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, there's not a lot of room here for furnaces. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's only enough room for here for maybe like six furnaces. That could be a problem in the future. Uh, I might, have to t I might have to redo this whole thing eventually, but that's in the future, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, I've got other ways I can deal with it, I think. So let's go ahead and grab this iron and make some more belts. 
And we will bring this uh, up to about here. And then bring it this way. Then we will bring this up to here. Do I have to have these meet in the middle? I want it on both sides, don't I? Yes, I definitely want it on both sides. Oops. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's gonna have to move. It's okay. Not a big deal. Go right there, so you can come up. You can go this way. And the reason I'm doing this is because now, when the when the iron uh, ingots when the iron uh, plates come up from both sides, they they'll meet this belt and they'll be on both sides of the belt, which will push out iron even faster. It's kind of hard to explain. You'll see when I do it. Okay, so now that we've got that, this can go this way, or that has to come underneath, doesn't it? That has to go right there. That has to come underneath this. So we should probably do it up here. Oh boy, this is complicated. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and make some stone furnaces. We're gonna need them. I'm gonna do the setup over here for what I'm planning. So this can go right. And let's bring this down a little bit. I want to leave room for the for the. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, we're gonna move this up. Just to make it easier for the coal. I think. I mean, if I put a splitter right here, I can have the coal come through here and then go up right there. So that would... Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I might have to start uh, pausing the video and doing a little, doing some of this thinking off camera. Because if I don't, some of my thoughts will sound like gibberish to you guys. Alright, so this needs to go up. So this basically needs to go up and we can just do that for now. Now, science. I totally forgot about science. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's put the science lab down. It needs to be powered. So the first lab you can put wherever you want. And we're going to go for logistics and research. Now, as it's researching, it will need the, the red science packets. And there you can go. You can see right there it's being researched. Let's make some more red science packets. Okay, let's put this right here. I do want to actually hook these up relatively soon. Any more inserters? Okay. So that's good. So you can see right here, logistics, as those science packets gets used, we're getting closer and closer to logistics. Might need a few more science packets than that even. Okay, so eventually... This will get split, right? Uh, we can just have that come down here. Oh yeah, that'll split. Like we could have that split right here. Have that come down a little farther, and then have it split right there. So this will come this way. Uh, that means we need a lot more, <laughs> a lot more transport belts, my my friend. A lot more. We gotta pick this up and then put it down somewhere else. That'll work. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's this this iron just sitting here doing nothing, but it's okay. I, it's it's not a big deal. All right, science, how you doing? More beakers. All right, so more of these. Grab more iron. Okay, so this will come... Oh, it's still making the red signs. Okay, I'm going to pause the video now because the game's getting a little bit behind of what I want to do. So I will let it catch up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I actually took the coal uh, electric mining thing and put it over here. Maybe it'll make it a little easier. So our science is still doing its thing. Let's... um. Let's go ahead and give it some more beakers. It does eat through a lot more beakers than even I thought it would. We're gonna make we're gonna make a, quite a few more. And um, we are just waiting for that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a splitter right here, which is going to put some of the iron this way. I mean, some of the coal this way and some of the coal that way. And then I just need to feed the coal into this belt for the copper, and the copper will be made um, probably up here. 
Then I just need to bring the iron over here. I'll bring it under the, under, oh, hold on. Let's see what the next thing we're gonna need is. Um, should we do turrets for defense? Should we do uh, optics so we can get some light? Uh, no, we gotta do automation for the assembly machine. Okay, and then we'll just have to bring the uh, the iron belt underneath the underneath the uh, the coal belt. It won't be a problem. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and make some and some splitters. We're just gonna make five right off the bat because we're gonna need them. So there we go. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Okay, so I could set these up for iron, although it's not really needed. My iron output is not keeping up anyway. Um, let's go ahead and take these belts out. Because this is, like, just a waste. By the way, if you want to pick up stuff off the ground, you just run over it while holding down F. As in Frank. There we go. Now let's see if the oil, if the, if the iron gets backed up. It probably won't. You know what we'll do? I want, basically, what I want iron on both sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to take up these uh, inserters and set up this one. Because I want iron on both sides. So let's get that set up. There we go. Now we'll get iron on both sides. Uh, we'll actually take this out as well. Now nah, we'll keep that there for now. Just It doesn't really matter. It's fine. Okay, so where are my uh, splitters? Oh, they're still being made. What it's doing is it's... Oh, I was still making science packs. So that's why. Um, let's bring this up here. For that bad boy. Get that started. Coal is still fine. I mean, we've got plenty of coal. All right, so you see right here what's happening with the uh, with the iron plates. They're coming up here, and then they will be on the, the top side of the track. These will be on the bottom side of the track, so we'll have double iron going everywhere. Uh, it's just a, a faster way to get iron to places. All right, come on, splitters. I don't have all day. It's making the uh, electronic circuits before it makes the splitters, obviously. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's a splitter. So what we're going to do is you're going to rotate it, put it like right there. And there we go. Now we have coal going to our iron supply to the right and to what will eventually be our copper supply to the left. Okay, so let's get some more transport belts. It's going to come over here. And this can just go up. Let's cut down this tree because it's bothering me. Can I? Yeah, there we go. It's a fallen tree, actually. How much room do we have? Oh my god, we got all the room in the world. Let's not worry about that. Alright, so... I kind of want the copper build to be over here, though. It just... Why waste room if we don't need to? So this is going to come, like, right along here. Right there. And this can come up a little bit more. Hmm, I'm trying to think. So we the right... Yeah, let's have this go right. It'll just be easier. That might actually not be far enough. This can go right there. Nope, it will not be far enough. Okay. I wonder how far it has to go. Oh, let's take a look. So this is going to be the output uh, track for the, uh, for the copper. So that can go right there. And inserters will go like that and like that. And that will go right there. Nope, I put the inserters too close. All right, that can go right there. And inserters can go like that. Then we have the belt carrying the materials we're going to need. Yep, okay. That can go right there. We don't have to, It doesn't have to go any farther. Um, yeah, and then another inserter pointing up. And another thingy-bob, and then stuff taking out, and then another track going like this. And this track doesn't even need to go this far. This can come out, that can come out, and this can come out. And that should be the setup. Actually, that should be the whole setup. <laughs> that might be actually done. Um, let's run some... Now let's not run the power yet. Let's get the uh, coal in. There we go. Here come the coal. Okay. 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run power to this stuff. Whoops. That didn't work. Shut up, timer. I'm not done yet. Power. 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 And there you go. Copper is now doing its thing. Why isn't this... There we go. Wow. That worked out quite nicely. That's actually pretty good for me, guys. Uh, oh, you know what? I do think I have to put another belt here. There we go. And now this stuff will come along here. Give ourselves plenty of room for future expansion. This can go down that. This can go up there. Right in the middle. And go this way. And there we go. That's our copper. And this is our iron. So let's go ahead and make a few more belts. Let's grab this. We can now pick this up. Let's pick this up, pick this up, and connect this. And now we're connected. Okay. So now we need to do is we need to take the belts right here. And go along here. Okay. So now what we need is we're going to need to get this track on this side. And um, you know what? My timer did go off, so we'll do that next video. All right, guys. This is going to be it for episode two. We'll see you next time for episode three. Till then, take it easy.